Right, good evening guys. A uh, bit of a different video from what I normally upload. This is not a music related one. And I've been meaning to do this video a while and anyone that knows me knows that I'm a ridiculously obsessed Guna geek. I'm obsessed with the movie and I collect things to do with it. Uh, so if I want to do a video just to show my friends and whatnot of the items that I've got. And so uh, feel free to watch it and if you, anyone's got any questions about any items just, just, just ask me. It's all good. So let's start here look. So we've got the the story legend. That's the obviously the the newspaper article that Chunk kicks over in the loft. Uh, I bought this off a guy in the states, and he's done his best to recreate it. A lot of the writing is don't make sense. It's gibberish, but it's, it's from the from there it just looks exactly how it's in the film. So uh, yeah, I like to keep this rested up in my loft so I can occasionally kick it over and discover Chester Copperpot. Yeah, I'm fully aware I'm a geek. It's cool. Obviously there we've got the, the good old map, again from a guy in the States, but it's uh, yeah, it's perfect recreation. It's It's got the notes on the back and everything, and that takes pride of place in my front room, so it's all good. Then we've got one extra, uh, yeah, the figures. These came out a long time after the film, but uh, still collectible, because I mean, I think it's obviously the newfound, the fame, everyone, everyone loves Goonies, the retro vibe and whatnot. So we've got Mouth, Sloth, Data, Chunk, Mikey. Two Mikeys, obviously, you never know, I might need a spare. I'll never leave home without it. Uh, what next? This is the single most thing I'm embarrassed about. That is obviously the result of a drunken night on eBay. A cheap 99 pence, tacky as horrible Goonies watch. Terrible. I regret that. And just some other non-official merchandise like magnets, badges, wristband, even a lunchbox. Why not? I pretty much just got to keep all the little trinkets in. Then over here we've got... Uh, yeah, the Cindy Lauper Goonies are good enough, the soundtrack, the full 12 inch version, yeah, awesome cover. And then next to that we've got the 12 inch, the album, on vinyl. I'm a big record collector anyway, but uh, it's always good to have these. Uh, I don't really play that because I've got it on CD anyway, but yeah, it's nice to have. The Goonies storybook, I've got two of these, I've got hard, hardback and softback because I need them both because I'm mental. Uh, yeah, so I need it all. Uh, Danny, this is a this is a bit rarer. This is a Japanese uh, film program from when the film came out over there, and it's just just nice thing to have. I assume it's Japanese. It may be Chinese. There's all the guys. Look. So yeah, it's a nice little bit of stuff. Next to that, we've got the Goonies, uh, the soundtrack notes. I mean, I make music, but. Uh, I can't read music, so unfortunately this is actually no use to me, but it's still great to have. So all this all the sheet music for all the songs, the soundtrack. Then here in my little black book, I've got the, the official Goonies magazine that came out when the movie came out. Two copies, because uh, you never know. Goonies Mad Magazine. <laughs> then I've got some... Uh, some film magazines that came out around about the same time as Goonies. So uh, there's an article on the Goonies. That's a uh, SF movie. Mad Max came out around about the same time. There we go. Look, fantastic films. Uh, Goonies article. Starlog again. Uh, down here somewhere. Yep, yeah, the Goonies. So just things. Just basically, I collect anything to do with it. There's this. There's the softback version of the the storybook. Yeah, we've got Hot Dog, that's when they did a, a special on the Goonies. I haven't got the Empire Magazine special, which I need, so I'll be getting off eBay. And that's just some random stuff, I bought a £50 Goonies note. That's an article I took when the Goonies first came out on DVD in the UK. Uh, I took that at the back of a, took that at the back of a newspaper, just because that's when I first started collecting stuff. I thought it might be nice to have, and you can tell how long ago it was, because... An HD telly, for some reason, it's 1300 quid. Uh, and get the same thing now for probably about three or 400. Crazy. There, there we go, just a, a badge. Chunk, uh, transfer for a t shirt. I got a signed uh, copy of uh, autograph of Martha Plimpton, Steph, with a certificate to prove it's good. Yeah, this is a nice bit. Uh, the story card adventure map. Uh, this I think this came through like 
high sea orange juice or something like that in the States. And it's a gigantic, it folds out a full Goonies story adventure thing, but it's, a, it's sealed to keep it nice still, so I, I won't get that. But yeah, that's, that's, that's not, I'm, I'm really pleased I found that. Uh, then we've got the, whoops, the tops, the card collection set. Uh, all the Goonies facts look and things like that. I've got the full set here. And yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it for that. Then over here, we've got some more equally geeky stuff. Yeah, I'm fully aware. It's a little strange, but it's all good. So we've got the... Uh, this is like they came out a lot after the movie, a long time after this. is just normal Warner Brothers Goonies release. Then we've got the another VHS release that probably came out near the time. And also up here, we've got the rental copy from the Goonies shop. Uh, from the Goonies shop? <laughs> the video shop. I'm obsessed. With the even they got the badge, the Goonies are on video, so that's a nice little touch. Then I've got uh, down here, I've got a couple of the storybook, the Goonies, and I've got the German version. I can't read German, but I needed it. So uh, the German version, the De Goonies. Then I've got uh, the one of those choose your own adventure, the Goonies Cabin of Horror storybooks. I have two because. I like to keep one on my person at all times and one in a safety deposit box. You never know. Uh, what else? Yeah, the Goonies soundtrack on CD. People love that, still goes for quite a bit. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. And then I've got the official, the Goonies, the Dave Grussin score. Uh, that's not official, that's 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 just something I've come into to own, but that's not an official release, but it's, uh, it's got all the theatrical music, so it's awesome. Uh, Goonies Commodore 64 game. I, I still own two Commodore 64s, but I've not, uh, I've not ever played that. But I just can't, I can't bother to wait the 17 hours for it to load and then crash on me. So, but yeah, it's there. PSP Goonies, uh, and then Goonies 2 on the NES. I've played that. So it's pretty good, but uh, it's a shame the Goonies 2 movie never came out. But then again. Maybe that'd spoil it, who knows. This is pretty much my favourite item now. The Goonies, the story of the Goonies, the Goonies storybook, as read by Chunk on 7 inch vinyl. Uh, I love vinyl, I've collected it, so that's just, that's a real treasure that is. Uh, I got that from a guy in the States too. A lot of the, the cool stuff's only from the States. One thing I'm missing and I really need is the flask and lunchbox set, but uh, that's for another time, I'll acquire it. Then we've got, obviously, I need a baby Ruth. Then there's another set of the, the cards, the collector's cards, that's another full set, so I've got two sets. And some uh, some original ones as you buy them from the shop. Uh, even with the, you can feel there, the chewing gum still inside, the strip of chewing gum. I'm guessing that's going to be a little powdery and nasty by now, as it went out of date in uh, 1985, but might be okay. I'll give them a whirl one day. What else? Oh yeah. Uh, some collector's uh, glasses, I've got all four of the set. I assume at one time in, in America they they released them when you bought Godfather Pizza. Free picture of Coca-Cola when you buy a medium or large Godfather Pizza now through 9.30.85. So yeah, so, so official official stuff. What else? Uh, yeah, just various DVDs. I've, I, th I think I've got a total of eight DVDs. There's a few of those. Uh, Los Goonies, the Spanish version. Now, does Mouth speak in English though on the Spanish version? There's one for you. And a few others up, just regular Goonies stuff. And here, here is the coming to the end, nice. So I've got the doubloons. I have a. Just this is the first one I bought. It's just a plastic resin one, pretty tacky, but I just it's cheap enough when I needed it until I found a place where I could get the official. The the full the real deal the feels like it's made of like bronze or copper or something but the actual the actual doubloon that's pretty awesome then as we take geekiness to a new level there's the uh, when uh, Mikey open Mikey mouth open Chester Copperpot's wallet and pull out a baseball card Lou Gehrig uh, this is the actual card they pull out not the actual one but the same the same card took a little bit of tracking down this did. Now what's weird is uh, 
when Jessica Coppola supposedly died, this card wouldn't have even been out, so it's just a movie mistake. But this is the one that he pulls out of the wallet, which is all good. And that is pretty much it. The only item remaining is uh, my uh, statue of David, which at some point tonight I've got to try and remove his penis, as Chunk did, and uh, try and make a bit of a job of that. But I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or anything. I hope you enjoyed it. And anyone that's watched this far, yes, I am a geek. And uh, to all the trolls that are going to say, why do we care about your Goonies stuff? Jog on, because there will be some people that probably do care. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.